Welcome to our channel and this week sees us going from Wharfdale to Hawes, uh, but before we start I'm going to ask you a question. So we were heading from here and we wanted to go up the B6160 and then back that way into Hawes along the A684. Uh, but the warden said not to try this road, which we thought would have taken about half an hour to get there. So has anyone used this road? And if so, can you leave a comment below? Uh, because we had to drop all the way back down, pick up the A65 all the way over here, and then pick up the B road, which took us about an hour and a half, two hours. So if anyone's done this bit from Grassington up to the A684, it'd be handy dandy to know. In the queue. In a Covid queue. In a Covid queue? I hope not. In whores. In a queue to get in. Yeah. I'm starving. Well, As might... always, looking forward for a pint of real ale in whores. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever thought they were that good, the pubs, though. I don't know, it's black sheep and all that, I think, innit? Or was it? Maybe it was because we were so cold and wet. Maybe it was, yeah. Are you waiting patiently then, Zens? Dad, I love you. Aww. Dad, been I a good girl? You. Yeah. She's been a good dog. You've been a good girlie. You were, actually. You were travelling quite well today. Yeah. It's only taken ten years to get used to wobble box and shed on wheels. Good evening, campers. We have our own waterfall. There's a reason in life you don't give a map to somebody that doesn't know their left and right. We headed from Hawes up to Gale. Here's Gale's church. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Does somebody know what is wrong with me? Do my thoughts go away? Do the walk took us along the countryside, through the fields, along the Pennine Way. I 
as I can't follow left and right all directions, I don't think I should have been in control of where we were heading. So we managed to go up a really steep incline, huffing and puffing, and Dave was not impressed when we got to the top, although he's smiling here, but when we got to the top, and I told him, oops, I think we've gone the wrong way, we'll have to go back down again. But we did have a good view from the top, despite his moaning, his huffing and puffing. The audio had gone at this point, which is probably just as well, because you'd have heard him swearing at me. So the moral of the story is, don't give a map to someone that does know left and right. Well, we just reached our highest point in the top of the valley, and uh, we're turning back down towards Hawes now. Uh, this is the little river that we're going to be following down and um, eventually we're going to come to a waterfall. Let's hope it's worthwhile, Zena. What do you think? Okay. Um, dare I say, we've not got wet yet, but there's plenty of time for that. Uh, we're going to try, get to horse and have fish and chips before they sell out or before the queue gets too long. This is our lunchtime picnic spot. Dogs have had a biscuit, some salmon sandwich, by the little river. Um, another potential do a property. The condition of that roof. Here we are on the approach to Hargill Falls, I think, something like that. We'll clarify it later anyway. Uh, but we've had a lovely little footpath made out of paving slabs up to this point, and then it's all stopped. A little mini Grand Canyon. Who'd have thought that in the Yorkshire Dales? Its own Grand Canyon. In fact, we actually saw a duck going down it. And then it flew off white and it went back up. White water rafting. Yeah, it's doing white water rafting and then it flew off for another go. Actually, I forgot to say, we nearly lost the dog by that waterfall into that canyon. Because uh, it's fortunate she was on the lead because she slipped off the little walkway and fell and I thought she was going to go all the way to the bottom and into the water but fortunately for us the lead held and uh, the dog stayed with us a bit shocked but you know me and dogs stay Jesus Christ Jenna so we're just taking a basic action because although it looks nice here that's where we're going So, 
Trendy. Well, Proof trousers are on. Trendy, Woo. trendy. Gail, I believe. Gail, Flags Cottage, 1669. Yeah, Tiffany's worried about getting the motor home around the corner here. <laughs> Little shortcut. That's probably the way we were supposed to come. Checked in for a sneaky pint or a sneaky drink at the Crown in Hawes after a nice walk. Luna doesn't look impressed there. Fixton's, Fixton's oh. Pale Ale. Don't think I've ever tried it before. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not pointing to the wall. I can see. <laughs> it was pointing to the floor. Now it's pointing to the floor. Oh, it's fun. It's warm. Warmish. into sight. We've done the walk. Done a lovely walk. Hung a dog. <laughs> yeah. You've probably seen that by now on the video. Um, had the fish and chips. Made the mess of the table. Um, and now it's really nice out there. We should go for a walk now, but it'll be We're, dark by the yeah. time we get back. Plus, my belly's too big now to go and walk up there. fish and chips. Yeah, yeah. So, beautiful outside. Um, the place is absolutely rammed now, so it's Friday night. Um, after Covid, all full. Yeah, lots of new motomes here. Um, but it's not going to look like this in the morning, because tomorrow it's going to tip it down all day. And then we're heading off to the Lake District, where it's going to be even worse. Cheers. All good fun. Hello. And here we are, walking down towards Caravan and Mountain Club site. Um, it's quite a hickledy pickledy site. Um, we do feel a bit enclosed where we are, like everyone's on top of you, but that might be where we pitched up. As last time we were right down by the farm and it wasn't too bad, but the cows were really noisy. Uh, one of the wardens was really friendly, and the one that initially checked us in was a bit less welcoming. Here we go, let's have a look around. So that building over there is reception. And behind it I believe are the super pitches. Very kind of tucked away there. And it's kind of on two levels. There's the top level and the top level. And those buildings there, I believe, well, I think they're um, accommodation. And just behind it is like a games room. And times allow. I believe it's the building there at the end. And then, who knows then, well, definitely, the main site because of, oh, I have a poo. to recognise. Yes we are. Hold on. Okay, so the 49 way is by Senna Arena. 
would recommend horse. Stay there. Stay. See? Stay. Go on then. So, as you can see, this is probably one of the largest dog walks the club site has. It goes behind those trees there, all the way along, and out here. And uh, yeah, this is why Zena and Luna would recommend halls. Let's go and find them. So Hawes site is about a five, ten minute walk um, into Hawes where you have about four pubs, a uh, fish and chip shop which we had last night, um, and good walking areas, well laid pathways and marked and some nice waterfalls. So if that's your thing, this is a place to come. Tower shower and toilet block and motor home service point. Laundry room, dishwashing area. Obviously, you can't use the showers at the moment, but you can use the toilet. So let us pause and open the doors on whores. Were there any flaws? Did we break any laws? And how were the dog's paws? And now I'm really clutching at straws to find more words that rhyme with whores. So let us see what Mr. C review is going to be. Okay. You have to carefully roll the dice and I don't know how you're gonna do this on this bench. Take a while. <laughs> it's the number two. So, Mr. C, two things about whores or the site that you really liked. My things probably aren't going to rhyme like yours. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> um, two things about whores. Well, they're, they're probably pretty obvious, really, I would think. Um, excellent countryside for walking in and you're close to the little town itself which is very nice I'd have said you'd have said hmm. close to the town for the pubs yep and I think the dog walk on the site yeah it's a fair comment okay so now you've got to do four things you didn't like have I why is that because that's the rules of the game there's only two yeah, but you've got to take it from six, and that gives you four things you don't like. God, life's complicated. <laughs> On okay, the spot. four things I didn't like. Um, some of the wardens could have been a bit happier. One in particular. Yeah, I'd agree with that one. Um, didn't like uh, the A road out of there, <laughs> heading back to the M6. But you know, I should have read up about that. My fault. That's uh, two. That's two. What else didn't I like? Um, Pressure. It's pretty difficult, this, isn't it, really? Um, don't know. I don't think I can find anything else to dislike about it. I didn't like the pitch we were on because it felt like we were always on top of somebody else. It's luck of the draw, that though, isn't it? Because I know, it was but busy. that's one of the things I didn't like. Mm. Luck of the draw. Luck of the dice, roll of the dice. Yeah. Oh. And, oh, fourth thing. Maybe because the dogs are always on the lead when you're out and about, but that's because it's lambings in the sheep country and you expect that. But yeah, true, true. Maybe that. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.